Tyrese on ending his ongoing dispute with DJ Envy? Um, listen, I uh, I just wanted to jump on real quick, man, and just say that I'm feeling a new level of energy right now that I have not felt in a long time. And I want to explain, it ain't got nothing to do with success. I've been successful since I was 16. <laughs> Most get five minutes of fame. My shit started with 30 seconds. I'm not talking about success. I'm not talking about I bought a new car, I got a new crib. That's all superficial, goofy shit. And if money and materialistic things was the true answer to happiness, why are so many people out here that are successful still committing? I want y'all to understand that ever since I did that Breakfast Club interview, and ir irregardless of envy jumping out there and me having to do what I have to do as a man to make sure that I pull out my receipts and protect my one name which I will do till I take my last breath. Rather Charlemagne, who is always speaking to mental health and mental health awareness, which I actually respect. There's a lot of things that was happening while I was going into my mental health situation and the things that I've been trying to mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and psychologically navigate through and there was a couple things that was very insensitive that happened. Um, but I feel like of the two. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I could really walk away and say there's more respect towards Charlemagne than the way Envy jumped out there. Um, and the phone call that came in the next day just took it to whatever level it went to. But I just want y'all to know, man, I'm putting up my white flag. I just want peace. Um, as y'all could imagine, when you come at me, I'ma come at you. And it's gonna be, it's gonna go to levels that, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not naturally a nice person. That's not that's not who I was raised to be in Watts, South Central, where I'm from. So when you see me smiling, cracking jokes, and 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 I'm I'm doing all that I'm doing every day with the charm, the charisma, always wanting to have positive, good vibrations. I'm working so hard to not be what I was raised to be in Watts, in my family, in my environment. Real niggas understand that. It's so much harder to be raised in that and then trying to figure out every single day how to become something better than what you're immune to and what you were raised by. It's so much harder to be out here working this hard to become a better man or in your case, a better woman. Most of us didn't grow up in the house with an example of what marriage is and what the vibrations of marriage is. Most of us didn't grow up in environments to see what true friendships and relationships are pertaining to exchange. I'm going to look out for you. I'm going to go above and beyond for you. And when I ever need you, just look out for me and go above and beyond for me. That's what the dynamic of friendships are. When you're in the hood, friendships don't really move like that. So you got to jump out here in the world and try and figure out what is a good person. What, what, how do I recognize a woman who really love me for me and she's not with me because I'm rich and I'm famous and, and she's acting and perform and making a nigga think and believe that this is real to then find out that it wasn't real. 
What is a good manager? What is a good agent? What is a good lawyer? How do I protect my money and my investments when nobody in my house raised me to teach me about financial literacy? How do I maintain success when nobody in my house or my family or my neighborhood was successful? In the hood, any that was considered successful was selling big, flipping birds. <laughs> Y'all know. Any respect in the hood didn't come from them being a good person, waking up every day to be honorable. When you in the hood, respect is who's the killer, who's the craziest, who will pull out, who's trigger happy, who will, who will, who will kill and lay a whole family out on a Monday and be playing dice in the hood, hanging out and chilling on a Monday night, laughing like nothing ever happened. Those are the things that get the respect. When you in the hood, you don't got no respect when you go to college and graduate. You only get respect when you go to jail and do your five or 10 year bid and don't snitch on all the homies. So I'm out here alone trying to figure it all out in real time. And I fell short. I've said things, I've done things, I've appeared to a lot of people to be arrogant or egotistical or a narcissist or I've had all kinds of shit thrown at me. The truth is, I'm still trying to figure me out too. So if you arrive at your own thought and opinion and our assessment of who you think you are, Welcome, who you think I am? Welcome to the party. <laughs> I can tell you, I'm still trying to figure me out every day. So, I want to put this out there. That this week, I want to start something new on my Instagram. Now, I'm not looking to carry the torch that Charlemagne is carrying pertaining to really speaking up and speaking out about mental health and mental health awareness because mental health and mental health awareness is doing just fine. There's a lot of people really going there and doing an incredible job of really unpacking that topic. And like I said, what I want to do is I'm throwing up my peace flag <laughs> You know, I, I, I told I'm ready for all that smoke with envy, but I'm throwing up my peace flag. I'm going to make the choice to take the higher road. Um, I just want y'all to know, man, like I don't give a fuck what nobody say. It's been five years of them going at me on that show. I went in there. I did my interview. I spoke my truth. I apologized all across the board in every way, in every capacity I could. I even apologized to people that wasn't in the room because I am not just aware of what I said and what I did, but I am aware of the effects that it had on other people. And I'm also being a man from apologizing and being an accountable man. And this is the best version of me being accountable. But I also want y'all to know that irregardless of the movies that I've made and the money that I've made and all the success and everything that you guys perceive as success and perceive as me being a nigga that's moved on, I want y'all to understand that I am still out here every single day trying to be and become a better man. And sadly, unlike you that's on the other side of this phone, when you say some dumb shit, 
when you do some dumb shit, when you deal with a divorce and some problems, some issues, and you trying to figure out, you know, your abandonment issues, your daddy issues, your mama issues, growing up in the foster care system, being an alcoholic, raised in a house with alcohol. That y'all are on the other side of this phone trying to navigate through. Lucky you. That you get to navigate and figure out all your shit in the privacy and the comfortability of your home. And the only thing that's in your business is in your neighborhood. When you do this shit right here as an entertainer, and I've been on since I was 16, every mistake I make. Is public consumption. Everything I do is watched. Every relationship I get in and every relationship that ends is for the world to see. When you go to court, no one gives a f When I go to court, everybody's watching. I want y'all to understand that I wasn't raised with a mother named Gladys Knight. So I'm the son of Gladys Knight or Patti LaBelle or Anita Baker, where my mama was an entertainer and taught me and showed me everything about the business, what to do, what to do, what not to do, how and how to go. I was not raised in an environment on any level that can give me the heads up of who I should be, what I should do, what I shouldn't do as I'm walking into this level of success. So as I make mistakes, as I say things, as I do things, it's all happening and playing out in real time. But I have to say it again, not on behalf of my psych meds. I've already been there and done that. I have to say this again. I have no idea why y'all love me the way you do, but I do not take it for granted. And I appreciate this energy that I'm feeling this week and the energy that I'm feeling this week, the good vibrations that I'm feeling this week because y'all hearts went out to me. Even the people that laughed at me and thought that my crying video and all my shit was a joke and it was a game, he he ha ha. Y'all are at the house even struggling with the fact that y'all took off on me after y'all seen me finally speak up on the shit on the breakfast club. But I want y'all to understand I'm not holding no resentment. I'm not, I'm not, I, I it, it's, it's, listen, I could be a troll when I want to be on social media. So it was expected to troll me. I'm not tripping, but I'm glad y'all now understand something that y'all didn't understand before that interview. And with those new understandings, you know what y'all have been doing? Y'all been speaking good on my name. Y'all been praying and, and sending levels of energy and vibrations and prayers all in the comments, going at all the who tried to go at me. I don't even got to say shit no more. Y'all see what it is. And I don't play victim. I say what I say. When I fuck up, I fess up. When I'm wrong, I'm wrong. When I'm right, I'm right. You ain't gonna lie. You ain't gonna make no shit up. And you ain't gonna make me out to be something that I'm not. Till I take my last breath, I will protect everything that I am. I was raised by Priscilla Murray. Rest in peace to my mom. I could have an opinion and say she wasn't the best, but she did the best she could. And after having three kids, she could have decided to get her tubes tied. She had four kids, two girls, two boys. And I was the fourth one out, the baby boy. And then she got her tubes tied after. Wouldn't be no Tyrese if my mama didn't decide to take the journey. And as you watching down on me from heaven, mom, I just want to say I love you and I miss you. And I'm still trying to emotionally process what it is to be a divorced man 
and what it is to be a motherless child. I'm on my journey. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And wherever your opinions about who and what, wherever it lands, at least they talking. At least there's a dialogue. At least there's a couple names that was over here on Team Tyrese jumped off that train and now they pointing and looking in another direction. The truth will always set you free. It's a lot of good in jail right now who didn't have an opportunity to clear their name. And they still in there. When I speak, I'm just out here trying to clear my name. And you ain't got to agree. But I'm going to speak on it. I love y'all, man. I love everybody. I want peace. I don't want no problems. And if anybody decide to feel froggish and they want to leap and jump out there, I'm just gonna sit at the house and watch it all play out. But if you go too far, I'm gonna say something. <laughs> I'm grown, nigga. I'm gonna say something. I love y'all. Can we all, as uh, rest in peace, what's that brother? Can Rodney King, can we all just get along? Can we all just get along? Can we? <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.